Now, if you're planning some bonfire night celebrations this week, Phil Vickery's got the perfect crowd-pleasing dish for you. So, what are you cooking? Twice filled jackets. My mum, when we were kids, used to do it all the time. Yeah. Because when she used to do baked potato, it was a bit boring, and then she'd start filling it with bits and pieces, and it, made, it completely changed. Makes I've never difference. forgotten that. Here it is here. So, you'll see uh, the beans at the top there, which will come off in a second. Mm -hmm. There's the jackets. Look at these, look. Yep. Now, the great thing about um... this is you can bake the jacket potatoes today, even cold, take the cold potato out, refill it tomorrow. So it's, it's an easy, quick oven. and easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's very, very All simple. right. Right, let's talk about um, the beans first, because I want to get them out of the way, because there's a bit of cooking here. In this pan here, I have an onion and a bit of garlic. You don't need the garlic if you don't want. A lot of people would actually write to me now saying, I don't like garlic, mm. so I tend to not use too much of it. OK. Cook it down to a bit of colour. Then, here I've got some pancetta, or you can use bacon, uh, streaky bacon, a bit of chorizo. Mm. Now, this will give the beans a really nice smoky edge. Now, you can buy liquid smoke, which oh, you yeah. can put into things. I've got liquid That's smoke. what you're going to put yeah. on your ribs, story. Tomorrow, I'm putting liquid smoke on my ribs. It's quite oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cooking tomorrow, are by the cooking? way. I'm are you cooking. not cooking tomorrow? I'm cooking. <laughs> really? I am. What are you doing? I'm <laughs> doing ribs. <laughs> doing my ribs, which I do every summer <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. For, uh, for the guys in, oh, in right. Portugal. And, um, and uh, so tomorrow I'm doing them for bonfire night. So if you want to, you've got to go out and buy some pork ribs now from the butchers if you want to cook along tomorrow. Well, I'm, I'm, four hours in the oven. Hey. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. So don't anyway, uh, right back to you. <laughs> no, no, what we're going to do to that, if, if you give that a couple of minutes just to render that down slightly, yep. tin tomatoes, very simple, but like a recipe for love it. Tomato paste, mm -hmm. in that goes. Blomp, blomp. A little bit of vinegar, and this is not all of it. I just use a touch just to cut the richness. It can oh, be quite, quite okay. rich. And also the tomatoes just can be quite sweet. Worcestershire sauce, Tim, Worcestershire sauce. Is that what, Tim's favourite? No, he gets really angry if I call it Worcestershire sauce. Oh. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. Water, in that goes. And you want to cook that down for about 10 to 15 minutes. You can add a stock cube if you want. I tend to put a stock cube in, whether it's a vegetable one if you're doing a uh, vegetable ve vegetarian uh, version, or... Minus the chorizo then and the streaky bacon. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So it would just be tomato, in. that one, wouldn't it? And onions. <laughs> Tomato and onion, lovely. There you go. Like normal beans, though, like normal beans. <laughs> <laughs> now, after a few minutes, you'll end up this one here. Look oh, at my that. goodness, look it's at you. a lovely, rich flavour. Then I add mm. two cans of butter beans, which I've drained. Mm. OK. In they go. Now, you can obviously make your own. You just soak them overnight. But you tend to find with a butter bean, when you make your own, you get the skin to come you off. Make, make your own. own. Like when, you, when, when you cook them, I mean. <laughs> We're very picky today, Holly. Sorry, oh, what do you mean make your own? Your what own. I'm you saying is, you can soak them, get the dry beans, soak them overnight for eight hours, and, and then them put them in. Oh, God, but you tend to get short for that. that see, that's what happens. You could tend to get a bit of skin on there. See that? There? Yeah, yeah. So you don't want that there. But you could use any sort of lentily bean in this. Could lentily you? bean, yeah, that's, that's lentily something. Butter beans in vinegar. Lovely. Really? Uh, I don't amazing. eat enough butter beans. My mum does incredible ribs. And she uh, she cooks she it in ribs? vinegar. Yeah, a rib. Yes, yeah. Right. Oh, I'm doing ribs oh, tomorrow. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what? Heaven forbid! What a surprise! <laughs> now, here's a great tip. I do have a bit of black treacle. Here's a great tip: boiling water, spoon. Yeah. Treacle comes straight off. Oh, that's good. Otherwise, you end up being there for ages. Yeah, you do. A little bit of treacle, just cook that down. Treacle. And then, oh, hey, presto. I have to say, that looks delicious. Very, very simple recipe. Over here, you can start tasting these. Thanks. There's your beans. So they're the ones that are finished. Right. And whilst you're talking, while they? you're doing that, I'll talk about the, the jacket. So you'll see. So I do. If it gets a bit thick, oh a touch gosh. more water. It's very simple. Mm. Do you know what they go really nice with? Ribs. Yeah, it's funny, that, isn't it? <laughs> right. Right. <clears throat> jacket potatoes. How good is that? So good. Here I've got a jacket potatoes oh. that we've baked already, as you can see. I'll just show you that there. There mm -hmm. they are. Jacket potatoes. There they go. Mm -hmm. I've scooped out the potato into here. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want a normal version, my mum would just put a little bit of butter into here and then she'd re-stack these up like so. A little bit of cheese, put them back in the oven. Right. So, what I've done here, over here I've got some Cumberland sausage, mm -hmm. which I've added again to a little bit of onion. You see that there? There it is, there's the onion. There's the raw sausage. Cook that down for a couple of minutes. <laughs> and then I'm going to add a few peas. Peas and everything, please. Peas and peas and peas, 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 peas. In they go like that. Warm them through like that. Yep. OK, I'll be back over here. Oh, we're backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards. Hey, that's good. Well, you took me away we'll from find the beans. out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, what are you cooking tomorrow? Oh, ribs. Oh, ribs, there you go. <laughs> so, basically, you then... So, you put your potato in like I've done there. Yep. Then you twice fill it with a bit of this on top of that as well. And then... Then you put a bit of cheese on top like that. And then what happens? Back then in the happens? oven for about 15 minutes. Hey, presto. <gasps> they end up like these ones here. 
So oh I'm gonna take that off God. there, oh. like that, and with your crispies, beans. Can I chuck, just dive yeah, in? Yeah, chuck a bit of bean on top. Look Sorry, at I'm that. Joking. That's dead simple, really. Do you know what they go nice with? I reckon yeah. the ribs. Do you reckon? Yeah. I think that's a very, very good idea. Yeah. Um, I might so consider putting that with my recipe tomorrow. There you go. <laughs> they are seriously crispy, there you though. Go. I have to say, those beans are they... <laughs> incredible. Just, aren't they? I love so simple good. food. That love is it. so good. That simple is so food. Good. Thank you, Phil. My pleasure. Thank you, brother. If you oh, do okay. actually want to make my ribs tomorrow, I'm going to be watching. If you go to the um, go to the app, um, and uh, we put all the ingredients there, so um, so you cook can, along. Yeah, cook along. And we'll put all to. the details of this also on the app as well. Thank you, Phil. Pleasure. Right. Thank you.